All right, so I'm ripping the day where the where we were spreading chicken crab, loading the spreaders. We were riding back and forth, so I'm just doing some ripping here on some of these side roads and in roads where we were traveling a lot. Because I'm sure them ripper the spreaders compacted the ground pretty good. So there's a couple on it all the way across there. There's a couple fields I want to do some in roads on. And that's what the day's chore is. All right, so we're spraying, it's Tuesday, we're spraying 30% on. And then we're gonna turbo it in, I'm gonna plant some corn. We do this because we don't put any, anything down with the planter, which I wish we had a tank on the planter, but we don't, so this is why we do this right here. I already sprayed and killed all this. It's just starting to die. As you can see this stuff in the back, I sprayed that early. It's already dead, but this right here was the last field that I sprayed, so it's already starting to turn. You probably can't tell it, but it's starting to die. So we'll just turbo it all in. We're only gonna turbo about an inch, so just enough to work it in. And the chicken manure was a little clumpy. I don't know if you can see it on the field, on the black pumps. They were crusting. So that way the turbo till and all the fingers and the baskets will bust that up too and work it in a little bit better. So that's the plan. I'm gonna get all this sprayed this morning. And then we will be hopefully I'll be planting by this this afternoon. turn herself right around here and get right on her, her line. And she's back on her line. As you can see, I saved my lines. And I'm running right down the same square tracks when I killed it. I would have, I would have went and, uh, I would have put the, everything right together, sprayed the 30% and the, Roundup and 24D and everything all at one time and just did it all at one time but I wasn't sure when I was gonna get to plant it because they were calling for a lot of rain and we ended up not even getting hardly any maybe half an inch the other night and they pretty much soaked it up so that's why I'm running over it again all right so I'm turbo tilling now I hooked the uh we're gonna hook it up to the big tractor, but they're using it over there for while they're spreading manure, just in case it gets stuck. So I'm rolling her with the 8335, and as you can see, some of this manure we did was a little chunky. So we wanted to work it in. So I'm pulling it in 11th gear, 8.1, she'll do it. 12, it actually works better at 12 gear on almost 9, 9.2. So, well, that just seems fast to me. But they say the faster you go, the better it does, but she does a better, little bit better job. This turbo tilt really levels things off and smooths everything out with all those figure, fingers in the back. I mean, really, and the field was smooth in the first place because we put the, uh, we put the, cover crop in last year with the turbo till so it, it really smoothed her out so you, you know you can kind of go pretty decent speed and not you know the tractor really isn't bouncing bad let me get turned around here I do skip you can see I skip every other row you can see the dark white all the way across there it's just easier to do that it's just easier to skip every other road that way you're not trying to, you know, with the GPS, you just follow the grid anyway. So that way you're not trying to jam the tractor right back around and go right back down. I just skip every other row. And then when I get done the field every other row, I'll just start back at the line, you know, the pass that I hadn't done yet. And then, and it's nice too, because then you can tell right where you're turning into. When I skip out every other row, I'm looking at the GPS for the 
line to pop up when I turn in. You know, but it's pretty much these newer tractors don't turn as sharp as like the old 4440s and stuff like that do. So about a normal turn is every other row anyway. And if you were going to come back down the side, you'd have such a major turn, you'd have to probably do an extra in row, but by the time you got straight again. So now with the 44 planter, it doesn't do that because the planter's so wide. But you know, with a 30 foot turbo tail, it does. Um, so I always skip every other row and then I just come right back in and go back in. That's what's nice about the GPS. I feel like it's easier on the track because you're not, you're not just jam, trying to jam that thing around and hit the brake. I mean, I can't stand on that. Like right now, I just got the wheel turned and the line, next line popped up and then the next skip line popped right up. You just hit the button and she takes you right to it. Now she's a 30 foot turbo tail and I run 29.5. And I'm one blade on both sides, one blade right in the crease of the last row that you, you did. So you're you're not really overlapping, you're right in the same edge as what you did, you're using the full width of the the turbo tilt. So even though it says 29.5, you're tracking in this, you're tracking right at the edge of the thing. Now you could go on this side of the last blade thing, but you still have a little gap. So I always run the first because actually the back turbo tail blade sticks out further than the front turbo tail blade. I run it by the front turbo tail blade, that way I make sure that, you know, I'm, I'm covering it up, but you know, you're only, you might overlap each side about that much with what you're doing, but it's a lot better than doing it without the computer, because then you overlap. I mean, I've seen way overlap, you know, I've seen some people four or five foot, on, you know, down and back. Well, hell, that's 10 foot, you just lost. You're overlapping, you're burning fuel, you're wear and tear on the tractor and the turbo till for no reason. These computers definitely save you. A lot of people hate the upfront cost, but within two years of everything, you've made that money back. Nobody handed you that money back, but you saved that much money using it. I know it, it does. And I think before too long with the way the government's trying to mandate everything, I think they're going to make you go to all GPS. That way you're not burning extra fuel out in the field and, or extra spray when you're spraying any of that stuff. I feel like they're going to mandate you have it. And in the the companies like Deer and Case and all them, they can turn around and charge more because you've got to have it. So they know you've got to have it. So they'll just say, well, you got to have it, so you got to pay for it. So they can raise their prices up 25% if they would want to. And then you still got to get it because the government makes you get it. So that's why it's not good now to get invested in it, learn it, go ahead and buy the system before they do mandate you have to get it. And they're not going to mandate you get a system where you look at it and try to hold the line or a light bar. They're going to mandate the equipment run itself when you're not able to run it. That way you're saving fuel and everything else. Trust me, it's going to happen. Or I believe it will anyway. So it's best just to go ahead and get involved with it now. And it saves you. I mean, it definitely saves you money. Who doesn't want to do that? I got this next field over here I got to go do anyway, so I'll be close to the tile. So I have to go 
end of that field next, and that's down there by the short rows, the way the field angles, so it'll work out good. But as you can see here, I'll show you. This is what it looks like. And she'll, the computer will let you fill in each one of them rows right there. Just a time saver, trying to, instead of trying to get jacked around all that, it just, it's way better. As you can see, this right here is real chunky. That's what I've already done. It, like I said, these turbo tools really smooth them out. The faster you go, the better it does. That's all you want to do with these things. They're not meant for disking. got stuck so I'm over here saving the day big four-wheel drive and if you get stuck I'm gonna hook up to them and it would be two tractor spreading chicken poop hey honey show everybody your shirt that's the front and show them the back look at that Miss Eastern Shore Farmer look how excited she is She's never excited. So we should have shown it when she opened it up when the kids were down here because it was pretty neat. Everybody was excited and it was funny. But they brought food home so we were more important thinking about that than we were her opening. I didn't even think about actually videoing it. And I missed the opportunity. <laughs> 